Okay, welcome back to another video. So in yesterday's video, I talked about uh, chart patterns and how you can use a secret uh, ingredient to filter out the best chart patterns. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you more about how to draw that trend line, right? If you have not watched our previous video about the um, chart patterns and how to use the trend line to actually filter out the best uh, double top, double bottom, head and shoulders or inverted head and shoulders, then you want to make sure to watch that video after this, okay? So what is a trend line? Okay, a trend line is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just a line that you draw connecting uh, two swing points, okay? So let me just uh, briefly explain to you what a trend line is first before I go into details about um, how to actually draw it uh, correctly. Okay, so this is a trend line, right? Um, what you're essentially doing is you are connecting two swing highs, right? If it's a you know descending trend line, it's uh, just connecting two highs, right? You have one high here, two high here, and you are trying to predict the third high, okay? So if you talk about a bullish trend line, then it's the opposite. You are trying to connect a uh, two swing low, okay? Let me just uh, draw it nicely. So, so two swing low would be uh, over here, the first one, and uh, the second one over here, okay? So here's a quick tip for you if you are struggling to identify swing points, right? Like swing lows, right? If you're not too sure how to find turning points, then uh, just switch to the line chart, okay? So you can see that there's one low here, there's another low here, there's another low here, uh, there's also one here, okay? So that's a quick tip for you. Okay, uh, this trading platform is a trading view. Okay, if you do not know this platform and you want to use it, uh, check out our other video. It's called Trading View. Okay, so uh, anyway, back to today's topic. Um, you can see over here that uh, that's how you draw a trend line. So in this case, you have one low here, you have the second low here, and you see the predicted third low here is uh, is you know, it, it, it bounces off perfectly. So if you were just, you know, using trend line to trade, then um, when you're trying to buy, you know, pullbacks or retracements, then uh, this would have been an excellent entry. Okay, so back to uh, today's topic about how do you draw, uh, you know, the so-called correct trend line. Okay, so let me just outline the step for you. You want to connect two, two swing points. Okay, so uh, that was the uh, factor that I just, uh, you know, explained, right? The other one, the second pointer is that uh, you don't want to cut the uh, candlestick body. Okay, not to worry, I'll go into details about uh, what I mean by this. Okay, I just let me list out the, all the steps. And the last point would be um, clutch as many new candles as possible so, the one to cut the candlestick body sorry okay so uh, point number one i already spoke about it i already spoke about um connecting two swing points so you have one swing point here two swing point okay the second one is you don't want to cut the uh, candlestick body okay so what do i mean by that okay let's just zoom in here okay so in this case uh, you can see that uh when I draw this trend line, it is not cutting any of the candlestick body, okay? If you are not too sure what a candlestick body is, uh, check out our candlestick uh, video. In fact, uh, download a copy of our day trading guide. The link is in the description below. We teach you how to identify the, uh, what is, you know, what is a, what is the candlestick body, okay? The guide is free anyway, so just make sure you download it, okay? So you can see over here that uh, we are not cutting any of the bodies, you see? Of course, here it, it cuts because this is when the trend line broke, okay? But try your best not to cut, okay? So do not draw trend lines like this, okay? Because it cuts so many bodies. You see, it cuts this body, it cuts uh, this body, you know, it cuts this body, it cuts this one, it cuts this one, and it cuts this one, okay? That's not a good trend line. Okay. You want to have a trend line that uh, cuts as little body as possible. Okay, so in this trend line that I've drawn, you see that it sits nicely. You see, it's just touching the uh, candle low, touching candle low, touching candle lows, and finally you have a you have a break over here. Okay, so let me show you one more example. Maybe uh, let's look for this was a ascending. Uh, let's let's draw a bearish one. Okay. So another tip you can do is so you can uh, 
uh, on trading view you can uh, double click and you do the extend right line because if you do not extend it then you need to drag it yourself and sometimes you know the accuracy uh, might be affected because uh, you know you might not draw it perfectly but when you you know you just do the extension uh, you just drag this to you know you connect this circle button to the point that uh, you want to connect it to okay okay so let's talk about uh, this descending trend line so you can see over here that uh, you have a uh, one uh, you have a swing high here so as I said the steps is number one you identify two swing points right because you are trying to predict the third swing point okay you want to uh, not cut the candle body so you can see over here that we are not cutting any candle body okay so now let's talk about the third one you want to cut as many candles as possible okay so in this case uh you you, you realize that i do not draw it um let me just delete this first i do not draw it like this you know okay this is not really a good example okay let's talk about maybe this swing high and this swing high let's say i'm connecting these two swing highs right okay i would draw it further down lower a bit because if i would draw it like this okay basically i use this candle high then it doesn't touch as many candles, right? In fact, it cuts over here, okay? Because it, it kind of did a breakout. As, you know, if I shifted it to like this, you see? This one touches more candle. In fact, you see this is a better fit because it breaks and, you know, it, it kind of cannot close above. And in fact, if you look at it over here, it's retested again, okay? So you want to uh, draw your trend line in such a way that uh, it, it doesn't cut the body, okay? It doesn't cut the uh, candlestick body and it uh, it touches as many candles as possible. Okay, this is just the two simple rules that will help you draw the trend line with the highest uh, you know highest accuracy. Okay, so you can see this trend line work brilliantly if you, you, you drew it since here and you predicted this over here. You have probably caught this move. Okay, this one also. Okay, this one you probably will have stop out if you put your stop loss above the swing high. Okay, so let me just go through uh, one more example. Uh, with the all three steps so that you can see uh, you can have a holistic picture okay so let's talk about this one so step number one is you identify these two swing lows okay you if you can't see that this is a swing low switch to the uh, line chart you can see this a low this a low okay then a step two would be to draw a trend line okay so as i said don't cut the body do not draw it like that do not draw it like that right don't cut the body touch as many candles as possible so in this case, right, in this case, this would probably be a better trend line because than this, because this one would have predicted this perfectly, okay? So you can see that uh, when price broke it here, it kind of retested it and then it started going down, okay? So that's how you draw trend lines, okay? These are the three steps, okay? If you need to uh, write it down, well, let me just come back here. But you connect two swing points, right? Be it a swing high or a swing low. Number two is you don't want to cut the candlestick body. And number three is you want to touch as many candles as possible. Okay? So this is how you draw a trend line, right? If you use this concept of trend line and integrate this concept with the uh, candlestick patterns that we shared about in our other video, okay? Just check out our channel. Uh, we have another uh, video about the candlestick patterns, right? How we actually modify the candlestick patterns to have a higher probability uh, setup. Right, you definitely want to check out that video if you have, if you have not, because uh, that's one of the most powerful ways to trade chart patterns, and that's also a video that uh, you will not see anywhere else on YouTube. Okay, you will not even read it in any books because most books will just teach you how to trade the normal, you know, chart patterns, which is your double top, you know, break off the neckline, you short, right? If it's a double bottom, a break off the neckline, you long, you know, it's in the, the head and shoulders, the break of neckline, you sell, and if it's an inverted head and shoulders, the break of neckline, you buy, okay? But that's not what we do over here, right? We try to uh, get a better entry that has a smaller stop loss, right? So that we can make more money, okay? So if you've gotten value, out of this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and as i as i said earlier on we have a day trading guide at the bottom so make sure you download it okay the copy is free it's excellent for beginners right chances are if you're watching this video you are probably a beginner right so make sure you get that it's totally free okay if you have any questions please uh, comment down below in the uh, comment section right we'll do our best to answer your question okay we'll see you in the next video